Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Chrisana and today we're going to be doing a J-pop video. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Chrisana. I do a lot of these videos and you can check it out by subscribing down below or checking up there. So today is J01 Infinity and this um, was actually suggested to me but I really wanted to check them out because, you know, they, they kind of got me a little bit hooked with their first two ones that I watched and I'm just really curious to see how their growth was from their debut so this is J01 Infinity which is their debut MV, MV so they debuted last year 2020 and I'm gonna be watching their music video and their performance video I know zero I don't know them so I'm going to be doing timestamp when I say timestamp you guys will be telling me who the person I timestamp is that's it so let's go Oh, his eyes are pretty. He looks like so moo. Oh, 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 It has a very produce sound. Timestamp this guy. Timestamp. Great stuff. the dance version first before we give comments because I want to see the choreography we'll go a little lower now because um okay let's go want to see a little look and go Oh, they made it look like Studio Chum. Or is this in Studio Chum? <gasps> it is in Studio Chum! Oh my gosh! 
So it means they're training in Korea right now. That guy, that center guy, he... I think, did he win number one? Because he's always in center. He looks like, like Kang Danye and Ong Sung -woo. That's smart. <laughs> reminds me of um panorama you love me reminds me of um i don't know it's is that panorama by um, but one of the eyes one songs it also reminds me of x1 but of course they're they're under produce so most likely the producers are quite similar but uh the song was good I think because I'm listening to it on a speaker that I can't really fully appreciate it. But that's what I did here. It's very futuristic, very dancey. I did... Um, for a debut song, it's good. I think this is one of those, you know, produce songs that... It's not really my vibe, but it's not a bad song. But when it comes to choreography though, it's very, very evident that they, they were choreographed and trained in Korea. Correct me if I'm wrong. But there was a lot of point dances, like this one is the point dances, this one, this one, the going through the arms and all that, there's a lot of that. So they're really making use of the members and the space. So yeah, um, that's something a lot of produce groups like to do. <laughs> so yeah, I really like the choreography. The choreography is very good. They also, next up is production. In terms of production, very high quality production. Definitely, it looks like it was produced in Korea because of the, I don't know, the, the way it was shot. It was very similar to that, futuristic. And yeah, what stuck out more for me, for me was the choreography video rather than the music video. I did like, however, the use of color in the music video because they did have like a Mad Hatter's table and stuff so it did remind me a little bit of Alice in Wonderland just a little bit but I think they went with a very futuristic vibe because that's much lighter 
compared to when X1 debuted, debuted with Flash, it was very dark. So this was the total opposite, but the same aesthetic somewhat. And okay, let's go to costumes. With the costumes, I really like the one in the choreography video, which I'm pretty sure was in the music video as well. Uh, that I would say that really shows off the personalities of the members as well as the color of J1. Like when I saw the blue, I was like, wow, that's really them. That really fits them so well. And I really like the styling. I also like what they did with the hair. With the visuals, there is that guy. That guy I said with the white hair. I don't know if it's the same guy I timestamped the last time. But he really caught my attention as well as the guy, the center, the one who looks like Ong Sung Woo and Kang Daniel. So he really looks like that. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, overall, overall, I think it was a good, it was a good debut. I did watch their other, um, their follow up, like videos, and they're very, very promising. Like they're really good. I don't know how long they're gonna stay together because it's a produced group, right? So sometimes they have to disband after a certain number of years. So this one, I don't know if they're going to do the five year one or the two year one. So I'm very interested to see how this is gonna turn out. Um, yeah, that is all my comments for now. Um, if you guys wanna see more J1, please comment down below. If you have any comments, please timestamp my guy the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and have a click bell notification for updates. That is it, guys. Whew. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!